this next video I'm going to check out is titled Bill Burr, Asian Horror Movies Are Too Much. I don't think this was something that was specifically recommended to me. I believe this was something that I just saw as I was browsing YouTube and it was related to Bill Burr, but it was also talking about movies and uh, seemed interesting to me. So I'm going to check it out. I don't know if he was, I don't know who Bobby Lee and Kalia, K Kalila, oh, I'm probably butchering that name. I don't know who they are. But it sounded to me like he's either, maybe he's he's like in a, a guest or something. Did they have a podcast? I don't know. This is coming from the YouTube channel Bill Burr University. We've just got a different video clips and stuff on there of everything, you know, or stuff pertaining to Bill Burr. Anyway, the title of this says it all. Let's just go ahead and jump into it and see where they go. But here's, a, I want to. Is that old boy right behind you? Yeah. Oh my God, dude! I got a horror movie that, but for people at home, he told me about this movie like ten years ago. Really and horror movie. That one, and then the audition. Oh, oh my well, God! Well, I, I yeah. you invited me to your birthday party one time. Yes. And uh, I brought you the DVD of Old Boy as a gift. Yes, you did. Yeah, <laughs> and I told you to watch it. And um, yeah, and it freaked me out. And I actually one of the most amazing scenes I've ever seen, the way that they shot the uh, the the main character is got a whole hallway of people that he has to yeah. fight. So they built this hallway. Amazing. And they, they cut out the wall and just had this guy and they just all a one shot of them going down. Everybody talks about like the Scorsese, you know, good fella shot, that amazing one where he goes in. This is basically that with like, he's also fighting <laughs> 500 people. <laughs> yeah. You know, that shot that, that they were showing reminds me of the, there's a scene in, um, I think it's the first season of Daredevil where it's like this this hallway fight scene that happens. And that kind of reminded me of that. Now, I have seen Old Boy, but I saw it out of order. I saw the American version and then I saw the South Korean. I think it's a South Korean movie. I saw that version. Everybody swears up and down that the original is so much better. I personally actually liked the American version more. And I don't know how much of that is just because I was exposed to it first. And that was my introduction, obviously. And, and, and also that's my native language. And with old boy, you know, you, I had to read subtitles and I just, for some reason, I wasn't feeling old boy as much as I, the original old boy, as much as I was the, the, the remake. So yeah, some of y'all probably will have strong disagreement with me on that, but that's okay. Um, I wouldn't really consider that a horror movie, though. I mean, audi the audition definitely is, but oh boy, that didn't really seem like that to me. Yeah, and then I, I saw the audition, um, and I got into, like, you know, Asian horror movies, and, I, and like, but they were just so... They were so beyond what we were doing over here. I was like, this is like bananas. <laughs> yeah. I saw a really uh, weird one. But they're really good. I mean, they're, they're movies, a lot of the movies that they made, or the, the ones I've seen, I've been really impressed with. I may not necessarily like the story or the way the story goes, like let's say Old Boy. But in general, I like I've seen The Good, The Bad, and The Weird, and I've seen The Host. I saw some sort of vampire movie that had the the character the, the guy from the host in it who was, was also in the good the bad and the weird i saw uh i saw the devil i liked all of those movies they were very well done there there's so much more that i haven't seen but my limited exposure to south korean horror movies just specifically has been quite positive actually i really should check out more train to busan not necessarily scary, but a weird one on the Criterion channel. I saw there's a movie from a horror movie from the early 70s called uh, Let's Scare Jessica to Death. Oh, that's <laughs> no, 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 really? I okay. swear to God. I love horror movies. Movie. Let's Scare Jessica to Death. Yes. And I'm telling you, not necessarily scary. Yeah. As much as it's it's weird. It, I've got to seem Korean. Is it Korean? No, no, no. Mm, that Jessica. One. Jessica. That's right. Yeah. It wouldn't be Jessica. Yeah. Okay. Let's scare Jessica to death. Yes. It's not scary. It's weird. It, it, it could be. Because here's the thing about horror movies, why I don't like them, 
is I, I buy in. Oh, <laughs> yeah, people yeah. are like, oh, Blair Witch, that didn't scare me. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I know, me too, me too. All of those movies scared the shit out of me. Yeah. That- no. Okay. Um, I love horror movies. M- maybe part of that is because I don't buy into them, but I still really enjoy them. Some of them I can, and those relate to things that are human horror. The Blair Witch, obviously, if I had bought into the hype about it, which in the beginning, I remember that was a big thing. Them talking about, well, the marketing campaign behind Blair Witch was just genius because they had convinced many people that this was real. By the time I saw it, I knew that it wasn't. And to me, it was just boring. And I'm not really crazy about that type of filmmaking with the handheld cams and stuff. Which is why I never really liked um, Paranormal Activity. I think maybe I saw the first one. And I just I just am not crazy about that. There's been maybe one, one of those types of films that I liked. I can't remember if it was called Chronicle. I can't recall. But in general, I'm, I'm just not into those, those types. So I was never really a big fan of Blair Ritt. Blair Witch and also um, Cloverfield. I'm more interested in the other one, the one with John Goodman in it. And I think I saw Cloverfield in bits and pieces. But because it's that handheld thing, I was just not really a fan. That, uh, uh, um, that Baba Duke one, yeah, I that stopped one. watching. Oh, Baba Duke. Yeah. I shut that off. I was like, I can't fucking handle that. What? And then I didn't get to see how the thing gets killed. What? <laughs> So for like a month, every time I turn the lights off, I'm hearing Baba Dog. Oh gosh! <laughs> I'm, time. I'm just like, yeah. I'm kind of, uh, yeah. I, he's like, he's like me when I was a kid and I took Halloween seriously. I don't. Okay, I can't say I don't take it seriously anymore because he, Michael Myers still scares the absolute crap out of me. But I know, I, I'm drawn to it. I watch it. Halloween's my favorite horror movie. Uh, I'm not that scared of horror movies. To that point, as a child, I would have been, but not now, not really. <laughs> That's funny. I don't. The scariest one I've seen in the last we is an Indonesian one. No, not no. The one that I want to recommend them is. Did you see Hereditary? Oh, Hereditary. Yes, I didn't care no, for that movie because if it freaks you out, I I'm no no. Not I'm it, easy to scare, but that fucked me up. It fucked. It, I, I've seen it three times since we saw it that first time, mm-hmm. and I get so fucking scared you have to watch it billy please oh, can i ask no. you a question yeah, because i don't understand he won't watch it what he's is scared it of why would you want to feel like i hate that feeling me too like i can watch like a gangster movie or whatever but i even watched like casino got too like yeah i got, got a little like when he's watching his brother getting you know killed i was just like i'm actually I'm, uh chris rock is in the new uh fargo uh, and there's a storyline in it that's making it Unwatchable. As a parent, yeah, yeah, sort of. Uh, I'll trust you with my kid if you trust me with your kid. Just trying to get through that, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, is just mm-hmm. like, like I don't. I I get like why I love movies is because I I if I'm into it, like I am, I'm in it, I'm in it. I can't do rape scenes. Mm. There's this movie called Irreversible. Oh yeah, and there's a ten minute rape scene in a tunnel, and it's so realistic, and literally like. 10 seconds in, you're like, all right, I'm out. I'm out. I can't do it. Yeah. It's so uncomfortable. Well, I remember when that movie came out. Yeah. yeah. I remember when that came out because that was a that was a big uh, deal. It was a big, yeah, it was a controversial. Does it go backwards? That it goes movie? backwards the whole movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. And there's this, like, and it's like, um, you don't have editors? <laughs> Cut it down! <laughs> can, I tell, can I tell you what I've never understood? What? I don't understand sex scenes in mainstream Hollywood movies. I don't understand. It's like, <laughs> am I now watching a porno? Yeah. yeah. Like when they write. Right. Yeah. Because I, I watched uh, an old movie one time and these. Um, I'm not a fan of that either, you guys, because to me, 99.99999% of sex or intimate scenes that they show in films are completely unnecessary. Sometimes they're necessary, but n- not even to the point where you have to be so explicit with it. Like, I love the Terminator. The, the, um, the part that where Sarah and Kyle 
make love, that is super important to the story. Super, super important. I mean, that's a huge plot point, right? But I still feel like they went a bit too far with the sex scene. But that's just me. Like, I, I've had this discussion before where I'm not a real fan of that sort of explicit demonstration of very intimate scenes because it just feels like that's their personal little story and I it feels like an intrusion to watch that and I just have never really been comfortable with that sort of thing so and and most of the time it, it's not necessary to the plot to focus on the woman's boobs or the guy's butt or her butt or whatever and and to and to show them simulating the act that's just not I don't, I don't get the point, honestly. I do feel like it's been toned down a bit than what it used to be. It feels to me like it was more prevalent in the 70s and 80s, maybe in the early 90s. It, it feels like that, unless I'm just not watching the right things. I don't know, but it just doesn't seem like it's as... It just doesn't seem like it's movies are as saturated with that. I might be completely wrong. I'm, this is just something I'm just kind of sort of instinctively feel, but I might be completely off, off the mark on that. I watched uh, an old movie one time and these, um, the, 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 the couple was going to go have sex or whatever. Uh -huh. And they just, you know, they kissed a little bit and then they walked to the bedroom door and they closed the door. And that was it. And then the next morning they came out. So you knew they banged. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't have to watch them like. Yeah. yeah. Like what? Is oh, yeah. And that scene in Gone with the Wind when he carries her up the steps and you know they had a rip roar night of intimacy. OK. And they left it all to your imagination. Of course, that was way back when they wouldn't have dared show stuff like that. But, you know, at the time. But still, to me, that was a much more impactful type of thing than if they had just gone into a lot of detail about it simulating fucking like i i it doesn't advance the story y yeah <laughs> i saw the last tango in paris with marlon brando when i was a kid i rented it yeah you know, i thought i was gonna watch a romantic movie but this is pretty good <laughs> <laughs> i mean that's how like explicit it was i mean you know they have well, that, well back then though that what you had to do to get a porno it makes sense that you'd watch The <laughs> Last you. Tango in Paris to yeah. jerk off. <laughs> Thank you. Thank that you. makes sense. Thank but you. now it's like there is online Pornhub, porn. Pornhub, right. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go. See, I don't want to see that in a movie. Which, dude, I, 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 um, I quit drinking two years ago and I quit porn in May. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's finally <laughs> just like yeah. You're done. done. You're done. I'm done. Wait, wait, did, it, did it become a problem? Yes, because I was watching it and not doing anything. I was finding humor in it. And I would just be like, now, why did they do it like, why did they say that? <laughs> yeah. And I was, I was, I was, uh, right. critiquing it. yeah. Yeah. Like I was, I was watching it. Like I, if I was, I'm trying to think of a, a, a different topic. If I was into like, like classic cars, and I was just watching <laughs> learning. About that. Yeah. And I was just sort of like, yeah. And it just sort of became, you know how it is. It's just like something like, oh my God, that's gross. And then like a month later, yeah, it's not that bad. And then you're into that. And then you move to the next room. Yeah. Oh, and you just okay. keep going down Dante's Inferno. And then oh, and then it just gets to a point one day where nothing does anything. And then you just kind of like just and, but you still and I'm like, what am I doing? And <laughs> right. then uh, there was a couple of things that I, I just watched on the whole like uh, sex industry. What do they call it? human trafficking? Yeah. And I'm like, well, I'm kind of mm. contributing to this. Yeah. So, you know, mm. I'm not getting preachy here. So, no, I mean, I, even with. I don't get angry, but um, I stopped watching porn, but it got to the point for me, and I love you so much, but <laughs> where, um, you know, before when I was a kid, I would, you know, I would go to like F Street Bookstore, and you'd go to the back room, and it would be like, everything was sticky, the floor, oh. and you would lock the door, and it had those buttons, and the oh. buttons were like full of cum, and oh. gross, and you would put coins in it, oh, and you would jerk God. off. That's the only way. Okay, it, it's almost done, and I don't want it to jump to the next thing. Um, I don't know who these people are. He said something to her. I love you so much. So I guess, are, are, are they a couple? Um, anyway, I'm seeing some other stuff that looks pretty interesting to check out. Bill Burr and Kevin Hart. I felt depressed for the first time in a decade. And Bill Burr and Joe Rogan, toughest job in the world. 
Huh. Is that, and then is that a picture of like a mom? You remember Bill Burr's little skit thing he did about motherhood isn't the hardest job or something like that? Uh, anyway, well, th these are things I'm curious to check out. I, I think that these up here are on the same channel, so they, they will be available to me. I don't remember if I've subscribed to this channel, but if not, I think I will do that as soon as I stop recording this video. But anyway, I've already added enough commentary to this. I can't think of anything else to, to add. They didn't talk so much about, it's funny because I didn't realize until just now that they didn't talk so much about Asian horror movies or they didn't talk as much about Asian horror movies as I thought they were going to. They went off on this other tangent, but I was kind of following the conversation along. And because I was following the conversation along, I completely forgot that the main topic of this was supposed to be Asian horror movies are too much. Anyway, that, that, you know, that's how discussions go, but whatever. Uh, this was fun to listen to, a nice little change of pace. Nothing that involved a whole lot of brain power because I'm still wiped out from my trip to California. But yet it was it was uh, interesting enough and funny enough to get me talking. So it's kind of waking me up a little bit. I don't know if I have time to watch anything else. I have to leave after a bit. So maybe a trailer. I think I got time for a trailer. Okay, you guys. Adios for now. Mm -hmm.